Come dream with me tonight. Hi there. I'd like to tell you the story of the third crystal. Oh, good, Teddy. You've already told a story about the first crystal and a story about the second crystal. That's right, Grubby. Gimmick used the first of the six crystals in the reducing machine and the second one in the duplicating machine. Oh, yeah, the multiplication table. <laughs> Them crystals are amazing. So, let's hear about the third crystal. <laughs> okay, Grubby. Well, Grubby and I had just returned to Gimmick's house after taking a walk. Hello, Gimmick. Hiya, Gimmick. Hope we're not too late for lunch. What? Oh, hello, boys. Oh, well, I give up. Give up what, Gimmick? I've looked absolutely everywhere, but they're gone. What's gone? Lunch? No, Grubby. The crystals. The crystals? Oh, no. I'm sorry, Teddy, but there are five crystals missing. Only this one's left. We had found six crystals in the hard-to-find city. When we rescued Princess Arusia. But now, only one crystal was left. Where did you see them last, Gimmick? Right on this table. And they're not in the reducing machine or the duplicating machine? Uh, yeah, uh, no. This morning, just as I was on the verge of discovering what this third crystal does, the other ones disappeared. Just like that? Just like that. And I've been looking for them and Fuzz ever since. Fuzz? Fuzz? You mean Fuzz has disappeared too? Uh, yeah, yeah, well, I'm not sure. While I was looking for the crystals, I realized that I couldn't find Fuzz either. He does wander off to play sometimes. But he always comes back in time for lunch. Yeah, Fuzz wouldn't miss lunch. I know, and now I'm really starting to get worried. Gee, first the crystals, and now Fuzz. <gasps> hey, fellas, I've got it. You've got what? I know where Fuzz went, and the crystals, too. Where? Tweeg took them. Tweeg? Yeah. Tweeg's always trying to get his hands on those crystals. Uh, uh, yes, Grubby. Maybe you're right. I agree that Tweeg's done some pretty mean things. But before we accuse anyone, maybe we should have a little more proof. Proof? Where would we get that? Well, maybe if Gimmick can show us exactly how he discovered the crystals were missing, we might find a clue. All right. Why don't we start from the beginning? When did you notice the crystals were gone? Well, now, let's see. I had just placed the crystals on the table here. Including the ones from the reducing machine and the duplicating machine? Yes, Grubby, all six of them. Then, I took the third crystal, the one I was about to examine, and placed it in this copper holder. Then, I shined this light through it. And then what? And then, I heard a strange whirring sound. Like that strange whirring sound? Precisely! And that's when I noticed that the crystals had disappeared. Just like the fireplace is disappearing now? Huh? Oh, no! Grubby was right. Gimmick's fireplace was disappearing right before our eyes. Hey, that light shining through the crystal made the fireplace disappear. Why, uh, yeah, yeah, it, it did? It sure did, Gimmick. Hey, I've got an idea. Turn that crystal around and point the other end of it at the fireplace. You mean like this? Uh-huh. Now, shine the light through it. All right, Teddy. Well, what do you know? The fireplace is coming back. <laughs> Why, yes, it is. Look, there's my fireplace again. Gimmick, I don't think it was ever missing. I think it was just invisible. Invisible? invisible? 
I think that's what this third crystal does. When you shine a light into this end, it makes whatever it's pointing at invisible. And when you shine it through the other end, it makes them uninvisible? <laughs> it makes them visible. Oh, yeah. Gimmick, I'll bet those crystals that disappeared are still on this table. Why, uh, 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 here. I'll shine the light on the tabletop. Suddenly, all five crystals reappeared. Well, would you look at that? <laughs> they were on the table all the time. They were just invisible. Why, that's wonderful! <laughs> now we know what this third crystal does. Yeah, it makes things invisible and, uh, visible. Right, Grubby. Hey, Teddy, Gimmick, do you think that maybe that's what happened to Fuzz, too? Gosh, Grubby, maybe you're right. Maybe Fuzz isn't really missing either. Oh, my. Maybe I accidentally made him invisible, too. Well, let's start looking. We took the third crystal and a light and started looking all over the house for Fuzz. Oh. Fuzz! Fuzz! Hey, hey Fuzz. Fuzz! Where are you? Can you hear us? Are you here? Fuzz! Fuzz! Fuzz was just here this morning. Without Fuzz, just what would we ever do? Now suddenly he's gone without a warning. We, we want Fuzz, Fuzz back because Fuzz, we all love you. We're not quite sure just what Fuzz does that makes him so darn cute. If Fuzz was here, he might be hiding in this hiking boot. He might be all curled up and sleeping underneath the bed. I hope he didn't leave because of uh, something that I said. Fuzz, Fuzz. Fuzz was just here this morning. Without Fuzz, just what would we ever do? Now suddenly he's gone without a warning. We want Fuzz back because Fuzz, we all love you. When Fuzz is tired, he always sleeps in his own tiny bed. He has a special stocking cap just for his fuzzy head. Fuzz has a pair of fuzzy slippers for his tiny feet. Fuzz always has a lot more food than he can ever eat. When you come back, we're going to find a lot more time to play. I'm going to ask you where you're going when you walk away. I'm going to take the time to say the things I never say. I'm, I'm going to, to tell you, Fuzz, I love you each and every day. Uh, precisely. Hey, Fuzz! Fuzz! Fuzz was just here this morning. Without Fuzz, just what would we ever do? Now suddenly he's gone without a warning. We want Fuzz back because Fuzz, we love you. Looking for Fuzz. Fuzz. We searched everywhere with that invisibilizer. In Fuzz's bed, under the furniture, and even in the cupboards. But we couldn't find Fuzz anywhere. I'm afraid we've looked everywhere. He's just not here. Yeah, invisible or visible. Maybe we should look outside. Good idea, Teddy. Let's go. Then, just as we stepped out on Gimmick's front porch, we saw a note pinned on the door. What does it say, Gimmick? It says, I've taken Fuzz the fob. Pack your belongings and leave the valley by tomorrow morning, or you'll never see him again. Signed, Tweeg. Oh, no. Tweeg's got Fuzz. I told you. Now you listen to me, you little twerp. I never did like fobs, and you're no exception. So you just better hope that Gimmick and his friends leave this valley by tomorrow morning or else. You don't scare me, Tweed. Teddy, Grubby, and Gimmick will save me. You'll see. 
Oh, yeah? Yeah! Oh, yeah? Yeah! That does it. LB, put this fob in that cage. Tweak put poor Fuzz in a cage. That was an awful thing to do. <laughs> LB, I think this plan is going to act perfectly. Oh, I have such good ideas. What do you mean? I'm the one who took that fob from Gimmick's house, Tweak. The name is Twig! Twig! Now, we're keeping this fob until Gimmick moves out of the valley. <laughs> so it looked like Twig had a reason for taking Fuzz after all. <laughs> <laughs> and after I forced Gimmick out of the valley, then I'm sure I'll be accepted as a member of Marvo. Gee, Twig sure does want to get into that Marvo. Yes, he does, Grubby. Marvo stands for the Monster and Villain Organization, and Twig really wants to become a member. Tweep, they'll never accept you as a member of Marvo. You're just not bad enough. What? I am bad enough. I am, I am. And getting rid of Gimmick will prove it. It was just about then that Tweak's front door suddenly swung open. Who opened that door? It opened all by itself. Then the door to Fuzz's cage opened. Look, Tweesh, that cage door opened all by itself, too. But what happened next really surprised LB and Tweeg. Hey, Gads, look, that fob is floating. Fuzz was floating. He floated right out of the cage and around the room. <laughs> What's going on, Tweed? Uh, 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 I, I don't know. While Fuzz floated around the room, Tweeg and LB just stood there with their mouths open. Then they heard a strange sound. Oh! Please, that's a g g g ghost. This place is haunted. Haunted? Oh no! I'm getting out of here! Whoa! <laughs> Look at them run. <laughs> we sure scared those two, didn't we, Fuzz? We sure did, but I'd be scared too, Teddy, if you hadn't whispered to me that it was really you. You sure did make a good ghost, Teddy, after we invisibilized you. <laughs> you did indeed, Teddy. Thank you for getting Fuzz back. Yeah, thanks, Teddy. Oh, you're welcome. Now, let's turn you back to visible. Gimmick pointed the crystal at me, and I became visible again. Gee, that's amazing! Yes, it is, Fuzz. <laughs> uh, you remember the day that Teddy, Grubby, and I were actually smaller than you? Sort of. Did a crystal do that, too? One of them did. Show me what they all do. Well, we only know how three of them work so far, Fuzz. One of them makes things bigger and smaller. And one of them duplicates things. And the third one makes things disappear. Someday, maybe we'll know how they all work. Well, we were glad to have Fuzz back. And the crystals, too. And we discovered that things sometimes disappear for different reasons. Sometimes it isn't clear why things just disappear without a single reason or a rhyme. Sometimes you never know just where do those things go. It happens to some people all the time. Indeed. I have a drawer that's full of socks. No two of them will match. When I lose the door key, I can't lock the latch. Makes sense. When I can't find the roots I've saved, I just can't make a batch of roasted root stew. Ooh, yuck. And that would be a disaster. Most certainly. Now you see it, now you don't. I can't find my garden hose. Now you see it, now you don't. I just don't know where it goes. 
Now you see it, now you don't. I turn around, it's gone. Now you see it, now you don't. I can't water my front lawn. I just can't seem to keep things where they ought to be. Why is it such a hard thing to do? There ought to be a gimmick, a gadget or device that puts things back just where they ought to. That would be so nice. <laughs> yes, um, I had almost finished developing such an instrument. That's great. And did it work? Um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I seem to have misplaced it. Oh, swell. Now you see it, now you don't. don't. My glasses have wandered away. Now you see it, now you don't. don't. They did that three times yesterday. Now you see it, now you don't. That's when my face gets red. Now you see it, now you don't. Because they're sitting on my head. There has to be an answer to make things crystal clear. Why every time I turn my back, things just disappear. Yeah, <laughs> oh grubby. <laughs> yes, uh, sometimes I'm glad that I'm well attached to me, or I might even lose myself. <laughs> Things keep disappearing all the live long day. I don't understand just how they get up and walk away. Now you see it, now you don't. I can't find my monkey wrench. Now you see it, now you don't. It should be on my workbench. Now you see it, now you don't. My hammer's missing too. Now you see it, now you don't. I just simply don't know what to do. To do. Now you see it, now you don't. I just don't know what to do. Say, LB, do you think it's safe to go back to the tower yet? Uh, uh, gee, I don't know, Tweep. Uh, I don't want to bump into any more <gasps> ghosts. Oh, oh, you're right indeed, LB. <laughs> oh, it's getting cold out here. And the name is Twig! Twig! <laughs>